Okay, so uh, for the code exercise this week, I just wanted to show you how to add a, um, a JavaScript library to your web page so you can um, potentially use these to make your finished piece or your, you know, your final project or something that you can use in the future. But I wanted you to understand the concept of how this works. You don't have to get uh, deep into working with them, but just kind of set up your your uh, program, uh, your web page, so that it's available. So I'll just kind of briefly show you what we're the the two libraries we're going to look at today, and then um, we'll get into the nitty gritty. So this is one that allows you to do audio uh, composition in a browser. It's called Tone.js, and I'm just going to unmute this for a second. So as this ball gets closer to these other smaller circles, it's changing the tone as it's uh, being composed. And you can change the type of harmony relationships between these. What's over here? Interesting. So that's one. We're just going to look at a super simple version of using tone.js. We're going to use a CDN to link uh, that one. And the other one we're going to uh, check out is this jQuery user interface. Um, and so this is a library that is, cur is a curated set of user interface interactions, effects, widgets, and themes built on top of jQuery. Don't worry about not knowing jQuery uh, you know, fully just yet. We're just instantiating your uh, web pages with this um, so it and then you can just kind of use a couple examples and you'll be good to go. So just wanted to show you if you ever wanted to have draggability uh, into your website or like this drag and drop, you know, kind of thing. Here you can use this jQuery user interface library to make these kind of things happen. Um, you know, like right now I'm going to select multiple. So. The basic idea is that they've you're using a library of people have sorted this stuff out already. These kind of like common interactions of things that so you don't have to figure all this out uh, yourself. So something very typical like an accordion thing like this, um, you've got the whole kind of library set up that will take care of this for you, like a date picker kind of thing. You don't have to write this code. Um, you just install jQuery user interface and then make a references to a few of the things and you're good to go. So uh, what I want to, you know, one of the things that I liked about this user interface is this slider one and that's what I wanted to focus on. So here's like a basic slider that's part of this. And, but you could use the same thing to do like a color picker. You can see the examples down here on the right hand side and for all these you can view the source code as well. Um, so I just wanted, so you can kind of use these sliders in order to uh, come up with a color uh, idea or you could use it for like a graphic EQ or some kind of controlling sound um, really to control anything. Okay, so we're gonna look at how we uh, use this jQuery um, user interface to get started. So to start with, we're going to go to this custom download, and this is just what I want you guys to do. So I'm going to model what I'm looking for uh, from you here. And what's nice about this is you can uh, you can really customize. You can just take the one that you want. Always go with the stable one here, jQuery 1.6, um, and all those things we looked at, the widget and the draggable, the size, you can choose to have all of them or just select different ones. And then when you get to the bottom, you just download this and say yes to that. And so that's going to download this to my uh, downloads folder, <coughs> which is uh, right here. So right there. Um, here it is. And I'm going to drag it and drop it into um, a folder that I have on my desktop. Uh, for all this stuff, I'm just I'll call it. You can really call it anything. Um, I'll just get I'll call it six because I know that I've got a bunch of these already. Okay, so it's right here. Here it is, six. 
so <clears throat> what we're going to do now is we're going to create a file to put right in here that's going to take advantage of some of these things. We're going to make a slider and a date picker just kind of from scratch using just a few little lines of code from, from this website. Okay, so if we go back to the main page here in jQuery uh, and we look uh, jQuery UI and we look at this getting started guide I'm going to click right there. Okay, what we're going to uh, do is get these three lines of code that each um, that you're going to need to use in order to use this library. So this is like the big thing. Once you get this, you're you're good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to I'm going to go to our Sublime text and I'm going to start a, a brand new uh, file from a file I'm going to share with you that's like, uh, remember I was telling you we want to have like a template one that's just kind of ready to go where you can kind of start up and start uh, running with um, your web page. Uh, and so that's what I have here. I'll give this to you uh, as part of our uh, files that come along with this link. Um, so basically it's just a, a doc that's set up with uh, you know the meta tag the char character set the UTF and we'll we'll call this one uh, my first jQuery UI slider really verbose okay so uh, like all of the stuff that we're gonna do with um, when we're linking these files, we want to put this stuff, this link in the head, and it's just going to, and then these script ones we're going to put down later. We're going to now know that you could have a link here to your uh, these actual files, which is what we have here, um, <clears throat> and I'll show you where that is. But um, let me just get rid of. Actually, we're going to use that. In a little bit later. The reason why I'm pulling these script ones down to the end is what we want to do is have um, these things are, are better at the end because you want the whole page to load up before you start to call on any element from within the page. Um, and so uh, that's just a good kind of working method. So I'm going to save this. So basically I just took the three uh, lines of code that they asked us to insert in our page and let's just take a closer look here so it's saying link uh, it's a style sheet what's the relationship it's a style sheet and uh, link to this jQuery UI dot min this stands for minified and um, in your book I think it talks about how you um, basically it's it's like a, a lighter version of than the full version uh, and here it is right here. The, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to save this right into this brand new one that we, this number six here. So let me just do this command shift S and I'm going to go to the desktop and I'm going to put that right into the file we just downloaded. Okay, but let's just call it slider example. Okay, so here it is here. Um, so now I'm in this file slider example. I'm referencing this guy right here, um, and uh, this you can see this jQuery UI min.js right there, and um, you can see here the the directory external jQuery jQuery.js. So in this example, I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you how you put all this onto a website, and uh, so you can see it and make it public to uh, to everyone, how do you to work with this? And this would be the same step that you would take the final step if you were doing the full page thing, for instance. So you can see this is similar to the full page stuff. So now that we've got our web page kind of set up for this, um, let's go to the a good working method is to take a look at there. See this index file? If I double click that, it's going to bring up a whole file of. Um, uh, let's I'll show you what that looks like here it's going to have all these different examples of um, the code with their uh, their components. So here's the accordion thing and you can see that. And So you can go and see like um, 
how are they using that and what we're going to be looking at here's all the different stuff that's in this file we're going to take this little section here we're going to take these two guys um, sorry what, uh, what's up with the gender stuff uh, we're going to take these two elements and um, not the whole thing but just those two and I want to show you how to do that so this is the basic idea you're grabbing the things that you're interested in um, and, and using those so how do we do that? We're going to go to this index page here and we're going to grab a few of these elements. So what I'm interested in is this slider and I just did a quick search. I went command F and looked for a slider and I saw it here. So this is the jQuery code and this just says create a jQuery object. And um, these are kind of, this is a method that's part of this interface, uh, the UI. So this is specific to that thing that we just downloaded. This method now we have available to us because we've added this stuff right here. Because of this, uh, we're able to use this. Okay, and but for you, for us right now, we don't need to know all of what this does. I just want you to know how to add it to your site at this point in time. So because this is jQuery or JavaScript, we've got to add it right in here within this tag. And so we're here's the body. Uh, we're adding it right at the end of the body. Okay, and um, we are going to uh, continue to find here uh, where they reference this other references to the slider. So I'm just going to say find previous, and this is where. You can see that these are HTML tags here. I'm going to copy and paste that into my file. Okay, so that's looking good. So now let's just take a closer look at this. We have an ID that we created here, or that they created, that's called slider, and this is referencing that. So it's saying, look for the, for the element slider, do, do this to it. Okay, so this is just kind of, you can see how jQuery is kind of like a shorthand of that. Instead of saying get element by ID, this is what that is kind of like saying right there. Okay, and while we're here, we're going to grab a couple other things to, uh, to, uh, to get the date uh, picker going. Okay, so we're going to grab this. And this is just stuff that um, by looking at that index, uh, example I was able to, to grab. Okay, just a little example. So here we have an input type. This is just a uh, check out the input HTML reference if you're not familiar with this. And uh, I'm sure it was in the book. Uh, the ID date here, that's being referenced right here by this jQuery object. And then we're calling out this method that's a kind of predefined method within the user library. Okay, so I'm going to save this, and if we have any luck at all, we should see this working. So we're going to go back to our downloaded files, and I'm going to just say open with Firefox. Okay, this happened to me before, and there's a little trick that I... Ah, here's a, there's a little trick here. This slider needs to have a hashtag there. Um, now, so if you tuned out, add that to your to your thing. And that should be. Are you kidding? That'd be some little thing that I'm missing here. Okay. I don't want to do this again, but there's there's got to be a uh, a little trick that I'm not seeing here. Um, let's go here. Okay, there we go. So 
it was just I had to put the uh, the two things higher, um, the two other links to the jQuery before my actual code. Now, if I click in here, you see this. I'm going to get rid of this guy. So here we go. What we just did is we added our um, range slider here, and we uh, now have the state picker here where you could just say, okay, April 5th, April 15th. And the cool thing about um, this, uh, this website is this jQuery user interface one is you can customize it to get the colors that you want. Um, where if we go back to this uh, get started guide and you can see that um, it talks about towards the end customizing your um, it's like a roller thing here. Here, if we go to this theme roller, um, what you can do is you can customize the look and the font types and um, everything else here. So I just want you to see that. Um, I and then download and then what you do is you download this again. I'm going to go back. So you create. Let's say I want. Um, things to be this color or that color and now you're going to say yes to that and you design a whole set of things and then you download it um, at the end and uh, you can create these custom looks so let me just show you a quick example we're going to take the same file that I just created command C we're going to go into um, another one of these that I did here and then paste that in there and then open that I forget what this look is but you'll see it's a, yeah, is that the same look? So you, here's the previous look, slightly different. Um, got another one that's a little more fun. Is it this one? Yeah, let's try this one here. So I'm going to take the same one here, and these are all different uh, downloads of that. So you can see I went a little bit more uh, crazy with that here and just, uh, made a super colorful version but that was all done just using this theme roller here and then downloading that theme okay so this is a really powerful tool so what I, all I want you to do for the exercise is to add those links to your uh, web page and then pick something if you're really struggling just do the same exact thing that I did uh, but if, if you want to play with it and try some any of these other ones uh, and just add them to your site um, that's the goal for today. So um, let's quickly take a look at an alternate version, the CDN version, uh, to how do you add the uh, the GitHub, pardon me, the um, Tone.js, uh, the audio one, to your site. Okay, so if you, I'll provide you the link to this, but if you just Google uh, Tone.js, you'll get to the GitHub site that has this um, information, okay? And so what I'm gonna do here, so this is the GitHub site we talked about, all the different open source uh, libraries, there's a ton of different open source libraries that are available with all different programming languages through GitHub, okay? And uh, tone.js is one of them, it's based on web audio, okay? It's made by this guy, Yot Yotun Man. And um, if you look here in the installation section, we click that, you can see how we can do a version of this that is just like what we did before where we were uh, downloading the files, but we can also do a CDN version. And so if to do that, I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to go back to a, I'm going to get rid of this one for right now. And I'm going to create a new file that's based on our template, just like we did before. So what we're doing here is we're seeing this two different ways. We're seeing how to work with, um, how to add a library two different ways. One is a CDN way and the other one, um, ah, okay, so you can see where I have these old things here. So now, okay, so now this is the CDN uh, 
of connecting to tone.js. Let's see what else that he says to do. Um, you can see this is the pathway to do it. Uh, okay, so once that's done, you're going to also need to have uh, a working version of um, jQuery as well. So uh, let's do this. Let's save this as and then put it into uh, a folder that I have set up. Now you'll see that this folder only has jQuery in it, um, and we'll call this Tone Example. You can see I have a couple other ones here. Um, we'll call this one this Tone Example. Okay, and um, for this one, I'll include a the uh, a jQuery file for you, uh, a link to a jQuery file, just so it has it uh, there. We're almost done. Okay. So in addition to the, that's the CDN, you just need this jQuery link. And that file should be in your uh, folder structure. Okay, so even though the CDN is the, J, is the tone, the folder structure should, you should have JS jQuery here. Um, here it is, JS, there's the jQuery. And now we're going to put a link to that. Okay. So now let's, we're able to, so that's all we needed to do, those two lines of code in order to use this library. And so now what you do is, if you go to his uh, resources, uh, you can learn all about this different, um, this library and what's available. And I just grabbed a couple, uh, you know, quick things that he had shown here. Let me just grab some of the things that he had set up. So I'll walk you through this. We have a we'll make a button on mouse down. It could be on click. Make this function happen here in the script. Um, this just says, "Is our script working?" Next, we're creating a variable. We can call it anything. And then this I pulled just straight from his website, created a function that says trigger attack here. We're calling it that there. I'm creating a random um, number uh, that's going to be the frequency of our synth. And then that goes right into here. And then this is just the length of that tone. Okay. Um, from reading his test files, you don't need to do this. I'll kind of have a preset up thing uh, for you, but you'll be responsible for getting these two lines of code into this file. Okay, so um, let me just grab these things here. And once again, I'm going to put this at the end of uh, this file. And <clears throat> let's add a trigger. Uh, we're going to say button, and um, we're going to say on click. You could also do it the other way. And then here, I'm just going to say trigger attack. Okay, let's just make sure that that's looking good. Okay, and then uh, let's put them in the text that will go in the button. Okay, so I'm going to save this this tone example. Let's bring that up. The, the tone library, the tone.js library, actually works best with Google Chrome. So uh, hopefully, so you can see, I'm going to bring up the, uh, uh, the console, and you'll see that each <clears throat> time we click this, there's, that's a tone that's at 364 hertz. So those higher ones. 
So you can see how with the, this start you can get to these kind of more complicated uh, <clears throat> sounds and things like that. Um, so that's all for today. The basic idea is once again just uh, add these uh, libraries to your to some web pages and then um, for the UI one create a um, put one of those UI interface objects into your website okay uh, email me if you have any questions